Hi and welcome to demonstration of stock loss triggering system. This system is based on stock marketing triggering which alerts a user on certain event occurring in stock market. It is used as a tool to limit the maximum loss on a position. This system allows user to set a triggering price as lower limit and upper limit of the current stock. As the current company stock price reaches the higher or lower triggering price, the trigger is activated and the user receives an email alert about the particular updated stock price. So let's check how the system works. The system comprises of two major modules as admin login and user login. So let's first check out the admin login. Here admin need to provide his credentials to login into the inner system. So after a successful login, those are the three modules that are accessible by the admin. So first module is add stock, where admin can add a stock of a particular company. So let's say we add a stock for Airtel. The stock price has to be mentioned by the admin. So let's considering the stock price as 10,000 and click on add stock. So the stock has been added into the system. The second module is view stock where admin can view all the added stock of the companies. So this is the latest one which the admin has added. Admin can also edit the price of a stock. The third module is view user where admin can view user's profile and the details. So let's log out and check the user login. If the user is new to this system, he needs to register first by providing the following details. The ID is generated automatically and the ID is used for login credentials. So I have the registered credentials. So I will use those credentials for login. So this is the user panel where the user has these three models to be accessible. The first model is add stock where the user can add a stock into their current account. So let's say we set a limit to this Airtel stock. Now here the user set an upper limit and a lower limit to the current stock. So let's set the lower limit for this stock. So considering the lower limit as 8000 where the user want to get triggered and the upper limit is 11,000. So if the user enters the upper limit as the lower as the current stock price, say example 9,000. So it will get an error that the upper limit should not be less than the price. So we need to enter the correct uh, upper limit. Now click on add stock and the lower and the upper limit is set for that stock price. The second model is view stock where a user can view all the stocks here. So this is the latest stock which the user has added. User can also edit the limit if he wants. The third model is update profile where user can update their personal details. So let's log out. Now we'll log in with admin login again and update the stock price of Airtel. So in view stock, admin can edit the stock price. So if the user has the lower limit to 8000, then the stock price will be triggered and, and email is sent to that particular user. So let's update the stock price. The user receives a mail saying that your stock ATL has been triggered by lower limit. The current price is 7000. As the user has set the lower limit of ATL to 8000, the stock price has been triggered and the current price has been updated to the users via email. And the same has been updated in the admin panel. So let's log out from the admin module. So this is all about the stock loss triggering system. Thank you.